of the many names that Shiva is referred to, Soma is one of the important names. Soma literally means uh, intoxication. If there is no intoxication, you will never be mad enough to jump into the ultimate void, which is only liberation. So, Soma or Soma Sundara is one of prominent names of Shiva. So when we said Shiva constantly drank Soma Rasa, he was not an alcoholic. He just imbibed the moonbeams which he carried always in his hair and constantly drunk. But this blissful state is not a goal by itself. These blissful states eliminate the fear of suffering. Only when the fear of suffering is gone, only when this idea, what will happen to me is completely eliminated from you, you would dare to explore life, otherwise you only want to protect it. Whether a career or a business, it's all about security. Marriage is about security, everything is about security. As long as the fear of suffering is constantly playing its role, now you will not dare to really go into deeper dimensions of life. Only if you are drunk like this, but fully alert. Now, there is no fear of suffering, you are willing to go anywhere. The word tantra has acquired a completely distorted meaning. Whatever human beings are doing, use the same things to elevate yourself. This is the way of the tantra. Tantrics are always worshippers of goddess. Whatever you want to know about your life, just like that, simply they will say it. If your imagination is powerful enough and consistent enough, any kind of form you want, you can actually create it, manifest it and make it walk. Do not try to separate yoga and tantra because yoga is technology too, it is tantra. Shambhavi Mahamatra for sure is a sophisticated technology. The Tibetans, because they came from a culture which was steeped in occult, they added Dakinis and Dakinis and everybody to Buddha. Kailash is known as the tantric mountain. 